Before going through the water efficiency credit category, it is important to discuss how LEED evaluates the indoor and outdoor water uses. Let's start with the indoor water use. When approaching the strategies to reduce the water consumption of a project, it is necessary to first calculate a baseline water usage, and then the project should find innovative ways to establish water use reductions from the baseline during the design. In LEED, projects will be awarded points under the water efficiency credits according to the percent reduction made from their baseline water usage. To calculate the baseline water usage of a project, first, the baseline rates for flow and flush fixtures and fittings should be determined, which in the LEED prerequisite and credit calculations, the baseline flow and flush rates will be specified by the Energy Policy Act of 1992, or in short, EPACT 1992. The occupant usage should then be calculated to find out how much those fixtures and fittings will be used. This calculation is made to demonstrate that the more occupants and time that is spent in a building will mean a greater water usage in total. In LEED, full-time equivalent, FTE value, will be used to determine the occupant usage of the fixtures and fittings. And to obtain the FTE of a building, the occupants will first be identified as full-time staff, part-time staff, transient occupants, or residents. Transient occupants represent the building users, which do not use the facility consistently, such as visitors, customers, or students. The number of FTE occupants is based on a standard eight-hour occupancy period. A full-time staff that works for eight hours a day will have an FTE of one, while a part-time staff that works four hours a day will have an FTE of 0.5. FTE calculations will also include multiple shifts. In a building that contains 40 full-time occupants and 20 part-time occupants, the total FTE for only the full-time and part-time staff would be 40 times 1 plus 20 times 0.5, which equals 50. In addition, the FTE values of transient occupants and residents also need to be found and added to 50 in order to calculate the total FTE of the building. Once the FTE is calculated and the baseline flow and flush rates for fixtures and fittings are taken from the EPACT 1992, the baseline indoor water consumption can be determined. Next, Project teams will need to discover innovative strategies for reducing water consumption as much as possible. One important thing to note is that, when doing water use calculations for LEED, the water usage of flush fixtures such as toilets and urinals are measured in gallons per flush GPF, and water usage of flow fixtures such as sink faucets, shower heads, and aerators are measured in gallons per minute GPM. For outdoor water use, this time the projects that contain landscaping will need to calculate the baseline water landscape requirement, or in short, LWR. LWR is the amount of water that the landscape will require during the site's peak watering month. To calculate the LWR, this time the projects will use the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's WaterSense Water Budget Tool. This is an online calculator which the project team needs to input the types of vegetation, the area of each vegetation, project location, and the type of irrigation system. And with this information, the online calculator will calculate the total LWR of the project, which will be the baseline value. Next, project teams will need to discover innovative ways on how to reduce this value. Projects without a landscape will be exempt from outdoor water use calculations.